हाई गाइज वेलकम टू सी ए फाइनल एस सी एम पीई और एस सी पी एम सेल्फ पेज पेपर दीज एम सी क्यूज आर डिजाइन फॉर योर बेनिफिट सो दे फॉर एवरीथिंग दैट यू हैव डन इन एस सी एम पी गेट्स रिवाइज थ्रू ऑल दी शॉर्ट शॉर्ट वीडियोज इन एनी केस दी शॉर्ट वीडियोज ऑल्सो हैव कंप्लीट डिटेल्ड एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ एवरीथिंग दैट यू ऑल रिक्वायर माई अटेम्प्ट इज बेसिकली टू एंश्योर दैट a student gets to know logic of each and every mcq that is there in the module once all the module mcqs are done we are going to be doing all the mcqs from board of studies portal also so let's see what have you all have today based upon the z score the companies are classified into different zones of discrimination okay which of the following is not a zone of discrimination now z score let me just remind you for those people who all have forgotten basically these are indications that whether a company is doing good or not if the z score is this we say company is in a danger zone okay so based upon the z score no companies are classified into basically three kind of levels that is are they safe are they in distress and so on okay but let me read the question first to continue my explanation so bring me the four options please four options are distress okay then you have gray okay then you have safe and then lastly you have warning in case you all have you all remember bit of the chapter also this question is easy for you all to answer comment at this time okay so your time is over now module says and this is whatever is why a score is there now there are certain parameters based upon those parameters we keep on accumulating the score that is called as z score if your company z score is less than 1.81 it means that company is in distress distress means now it is moving towards bankruptcy if something is not done your company will go towards bankruptcy this is the worst kind of the performance there are lot of indicators that are mentioned based upon that like you know if the value of this ratio is this this ratio is this then in that case we try to find out the score and once we add up we try to arrive at a z score if your z score is less than 1.81 you are in distress if your score is 1.81 to 2.9 and we say you are in gray area gray means neither bad okay but not great also so we will require further investigation and lastly if your score is 2.99 if it is more than 2.9 and we say you are in safe zone okay safe zone means nothing to worry your company is doing good and you know this kind of a z score was actually tested with many companies and this thing actually works in many of the cases like you know the this is basically a model to find out that is the company safe or in uh, distress and i think based upon the numbers that i remember like you know that this kind of the z score actually worked in 85% of the cases like you know in 85% of the cases z score was successful in trying to find out that company is moving towards bankruptcy or not okay it's a wonderful kind of a framework that was done so in case you all have a business okay try to study more about the z score we have the detailed explanation of that in our videos also and try to find out what is your company's z score and z score actually like you know whatever is there in front of you right now is there for a manufacturing company there are different level of scores that are there for non manufacturing companies also and so on but these are the three th classification that are there that is distress gray and safe so therefore there is nothing called as a warning zone as such okay so out of the four ones warning does not come as part of it so therefore that should be the correct answer because that is not a zone of discrimination that is the correct one i'll see you all next time with another mcq take care till then happy learning bye